What's up guys, Brunsnick's back, and today I'm going to talk about controlling patterns using radical bowling balls. I built a three ball arsenal consisting of an Innovator Solid, the new Katana Strike, and the Sneak Attack Solid. Three completely different bowling balls with different characteristics on the lane. I have Specto running so we'll be able to look at some of the data, but before we get to all that, please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Now, let's try to control this pattern using radical bowling balls. All right, let's talk about controlling patterns. And now we're going to be using radical bowling balls for this video. I have the Innovator Solid. I got the brand new Katana Strike and then the Sneak Attack Solid. So we got two solids. We got one hybrid. We got two of them being ASIMs and one being a lower differential symmetrical ball. So I believe I do have a good one, two, three punch here as far as control goes. So we're going to start it out, you know, with the strongest ball since we're looking to control the patterns, right? We're going to start with Innovator Solid. And then we'll look at some of the Specto data, but we won't lean too heavily on that. Let's see what we got. Huh? 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 All right, get in there. All right, where did it go? So we're bowling on a pattern that I typically never bowl on. This is a lot more oil. This is test heavy. I'm used to bowling on test medium. So gotten some requests, we want to see more separation between the two, we want to see some balls struggle and perform better when in the right zone versus wrong zone where the drier pattern tends to blend out some of that. So we're going to just start it out. We're going to see if this is enough ball to play in the track. They're juiced up today. Obviously that's my first shot, kind of warming up. But plenty of oil out there, gush. You know, it's gonna force me probably a little further right than what I'm used to starting. I'm not used to being able to play up first, second arrow with any kind of authority. So we're gonna try that again. Obviously a lot of oil on the ball, but this was a very good control ball for me. Surface wise, pretty dull. I think it should be able to hook. I just need to move my feet right, my eyes right, get it a little bit further right. Let's play on top of it a little bit more. There we go. You just gotta do what your eyes tell you to do. And you know, obviously that first ball didn't hook. So rather than try to make it hook, you gotta get your feet in the right spot. If your feet are not in the right spot, I don't care what ball you have in your hands, you're not gonna beat me. You're not gonna even beat people that are worse than me, which is pretty much everybody. All right, so what happens when we try to use a ball that's weaker, like sneak attack from out there? So this has a lot less differential, weaker cover, weaker core. Will it still be an option from playing straight? See, I could probably make it work, but I bet you anything, I can strike more with the Innovator Solid playing out there than I can starting with the Sneak Attack Solid. Could I use more surface on it? Sure, but we can't mortgage the future for the sake of today. So I'm not gonna make that ball dull and make it unusable as the lanes break down. I need something with a little less surface grit to help push it through the fronts when the fronts eventually go away, because we're not using a weak ball, we're using an innovator solid, a lot of surface, a lot of flare, it's gonna break down this pattern pretty quick. I'm gonna need to get out of that ball eventually and move into something else, which is a great segue, going into Katana Strike. So this ball, compared to Innovator, has a lot more intermediate, hybrid cover, so a little cleaner cover. So I don't think it'll have an issue hooking in this spot, but I have been wrong before. That was pretty dominating there. Got that up to probably about five board, maybe a little touch outside of it, but Bob definitely had any problem going through? No, I don't think so. So if I have options, right, between the duller ASIM in the Innovator Solid, which is a little smoother, or the sharper Katana Strike, which one 
do I want to surface and play later? Obviously, I don't think that the Innovator Solid, as I move in, is going to be the play. So I'm going to need something to battle that heavy oil in the middle. So I'm probably going to surface the Katana Strike. And we'll do that here a little bit later. But let's go back to Innovator, just so we can show maybe a couple more shots in that line. And then hopefully we can start breaking down this pattern a little bit and moving it in. So based on that same spot, Obviously, Katana had a lot of back end there, but that's not what we're looking for right now. I'm looking to control the pocket, and I'm looking for area. That's the other thing. Like, I want to get into a zone where I have hold in the middle, which that looked like that was, and hook to the right. If I have both, I'm in the right zone. All right, let's throw one more. I'm going to move just like two and see if maybe if I can not really open the angles up, but just give myself a little bit more hold there. That one almost nine pin. Oh, that was even worse. Yikes, what a break. I swear, I get the worst breaks possible. I've watched a lot of bowling channels and I don't see these kind of breaks. Yikes. All right. So, Bowling balls like Innovator Solid that are inherently smoother, more easy to control. As you start opening up the angles, that's where you're gonna have issues. So that one obviously hooks, so I'm gonna move it another two and try to open it up now. Will the ball get back to the pins? No, it did not. So obviously I missed in a little bit but the ball kind of like labored a little bit. Didn't get the 10 out, hit pretty weak. Sent a messenger, looked cool, but the ball's not striking. So if I play Katana in there, I'm probably gonna have some of the same issues because the surface on this ball isn't as dull, so it needs to slow down. So I'm gonna throw it one time from in there and see if maybe it's enough or Plan B, surface. It's out wide. Oh. Okay, so I got that out to the dry boards and it hooked quite a bit. Looked pretty promising, right? So when you're trying to control pocket or control patterns, it's not necessarily how much you can bank it off the hook there, right? So I am gonna throw it one more time and try not to throw it out there. You know, let's try to keep it more in the oil where the innovator maybe had a little issue there. And let's just see. See if I still have that same issue here. It's not looking like it's having the issue right now. So, can I stay in that same zone? Yeah, you bet, I could. I'm still gonna hit it with surface, just a little bit just to freshen up the shell, give it just a little bit of bite. You know, these balls tend to, um, you know, lane shine just a little bit as we bowl. So it's important to always, especially on balls that have surface, is to maintain the surface by bringing it back to box. Now you can just go hitting with a pad and that'll get you halfway there, but recreating the steps is the only way to get the ball back to box. All right, so Katana, just gonna tap it with a 2000 pad, medium, medium hard pressure, 2000 isn't a lot of grit. I just wanna touch up the shell. Now obviously, you can't make these surface adjustments when you're bowling league or bowling tournaments, you have to do it during practice. And a lot of this comes with experience and knowing how your bowling balls are gonna fit together in the arsenal where you can go one, two, three. So if I'm setting up this arsenal, I'm keeping the innovator very dull out of the box. And this ball I'm probably going to have dull as well because my ball speed is a little bit higher compared to my rev rate. All right. So more surface is key for me. I'm going to move it in just a little bit. Now that we got a little surface, it's time to start cheating in, getting inside of the everybody else playing out. That's in. Ah. Okay. It read the lane. I missed that. Pretty far in. 
but that's promising. That's just a bad break. Obviously, it's not exactly where I want to throw it. I kind of want to see my break point out by outside of the tracer just a little bit, between five and 10, somewhere in there. Now, the other thing you need to always do is wipe all the oil off your ball for every shot. So important. Do not leave the ball with oil on it because if there's oil on the ball, guess what? It's gonna leave it and hydroplane more. That's my opinion. Yes. Come on. Okay, so the combination of moving in and more surface is making me come behind the head pin now. That's just what's happening. Could I add more surface? Yes, but that move in, looking at it now, it's too early. I'm getting ahead of it too early. I gotta wait for that to develop. So I'm gonna move it back right. And uh, this should put us back in the pocket here, flush. Yes, sir. All right, so that, you just gotta let your bowling ball do all the talking. Obviously, it came behind the head pin. So what happens if we try to use sneak attack in here? Is the pattern developed enough to use it yet or not? We're gonna find out here in a second. My guess is probably no. So there's all different ways you can control a pattern. And when they're heavy oil like this, bowling balls like sneak attack are probably not gonna be the ones you use. At least not to start. Now if you're slower ball speed, they might come into play earlier. But for me, not bad. Now that we've used all those dull balls to like break this pattern up and, and really work it in, that didn't look half bad. It kind of surprised me a little bit. Still flares a little bit. I mean, sneak attacks, no slouch, but compared to like the other balls, they're not as strong. All right, I'm gonna try that one more time as a, not, you know, to see, make sure it's not a fluke. Is that a little wider? Gosh. Okay, from straighter angles, having a little more back end isn't necessarily the end of the world. That surprised me a little bit. So what happens, and we'll do this last shot, is what happens when you get too far in with a ball like Innovator Solid? So say you're lined up with Innovator Solid, you're striking a lot, and obviously the lanes break down, you need to move it in. What happens when you move in and try to swing it out to that dry? That's what you see. So the ball hooks, obviously it's still gonna hook, but rolls very forward in the back, kicked out the 10, but reflected pretty badly because it used all that energy at the break point and slowing down. So that is my three ball arsenal, how to control patterns using radical bowling balls, use a katana strike, sneak attack solid, and the innovator solid. What would be your three balls to control patterns? What are you using out of the gate? Leave them in the comments below. As always, please subscribe if you haven't. Talk to you guys soon.